All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be going over our official August forecast. I'm gonna be presenting that temperature forecast, precipitation forecast, and overall forecast. Anyway, before I get into things, be sure to destroy the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. For today's comment of the day, I want to know, how do you hope this upcoming August goes? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Now, let's just get straight into this video, and we're going to start out with that precipitation forecast first. Now, as you can see, we're, we put our first layer on the screen here. This is our below average precipitation region. And this is actually a rather large region. We extend this all the way from the Rockies. It basically encompasses all of the Rockies. And it extends all the way through the northern plains into the upper Midwest. So states like the Dakotas, Nebraska, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, and then some of the rocky states like Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho as well. You can all anticipate some slightly below average precipitation. You can see that there's actually three shades of each value. So if you look at the top of the screen, we have three shades of below average precipitation and three shades of above average precipitation. So if we're only taking a look at this first layer, it's a very slight or even a smaller confidence. That's It can be either of those things. Typically, it's a confidence thing for me. Uh, and the darker on the shade I go, the more confident I am in a certain value. Let's go ahead and add a second layer to this below average precipitation. So this is where I'm more confident in the below average precipitation. Montana, northeastern Wyoming, and then it, there for most of South Dakota and all of North Dakota, and then a bit of Minnesota as well. We're expecting below average precipitation. And I'm more confident in this region than I was in just the lighter shade. So that is how I feel. That is our only below average precipitation region. Now we're right in the heart of monsoon season. So we actually are expecting above average precipitation here for California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. So this is further above normal than what is even typical for this monsoon season. So we do expect a lot of that activity to be going on more than what is normally typical. Now this won't be inches and inches and inches of difference because their average precipitation is such a small amount that this will likely be a minuscule difference in, in general. Now let's go ahead and add our second above average precipitation region. And this one's much larger. This encompasses most of the Gulf states, all of the East Coast states, and a lot of the Ohio Valley as well. So this is a very widespread above average precipitation region. And there's actually some fronts coming through very soon, some low pressure systems coming through that we can see in the foreseeable future. And that is a lot to do with our confidence in the above average precipitation, because assuming obviously we know those things are going to happen, and then assuming we have above or near normal precipitation moving forward after that, it's very likely we have above average precipitation. As long as there's not below average precipitation after these storms and cold fronts and such move through. Now, we even have a second shade of this above average precipitation for this region. That's for a lot of the Gulf states and the East Coast states as well, up through into the Mid-Atlantic also. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at another shade here on this precipitation forecast in just a moment. We're going to move on to the temperature forecast in just a moment and then eventually the overall forecast. Now, here is our far above normal precipitation region and as you can see for Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, DC, and the Delmarva as well as a little bit in southern New Jersey as well. We're all expected to have some above average precipitation. That darkest green region is my highest confidence there. There's a low pressure system about to come through. There's some storminess actually ongoing this morning for a lot of these regions in Virginia. If you take a look at the radar you might even hear the, the thunder. So we're getting to a very wet start for a lot of these regions and that really puts us in a good position to end the month with above average precipitation. So my confidence is about as high as it could be in these dark green regions having above normal precipitation. Now let's just move straight into the temperature forecast. And as you can see, we expect above normal temperatures here for the northeastern corner of the United States. I do expect hot conditions in general for this region because of this hotter and, and further above normal weather that's going to be around. So we're going to be watching very closely for that. Basically from Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, and then all of New England, we expect some chance at above average temperatures here. Obviously, this is the first shade, uh, and that's the only shade we're going to get for that region. But I do feel, I would say, moderately confident that there will be above average temperatures for that region. Now let's add that next above normal temperature region, and this one is 
extremely large, even even larger than that above normal precipitation region. Uh, and as you can see, we see from basically the upper Midwest through the plains, through the Rockies, through the Pacific Northwest, down through the Southwest. So this is a huge region. This encompasses basically one fourth of the Western United States. And then I would say half of the Northern United States. I would say the Northwestern half of the United States. Definitely looking at those above normal temperatures being possible. And this is very similar to what we've seen all summer throughout June, July, and then pretty much the entire entirety of those two months have been this type of a pattern. But in a minute, what I'm going to do is move on and show you guys how it's actually expected to be different in a way from what we've been seeing. I do expect a significant change in how that warm up looks and maybe how it progresses throughout the month of August. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on and take a look at the uh, rest of the above normal temperatures, the, the below normal temperatures, and then finally that overall forecast in just a moment. Now here is the moderately above normal temperature region. And as you can see, uh, we do expect a lot of those moderately above normal temperatures to be around for the West Coast, but I think that's actually not going to be the entire month. I do expect also uh, that that won't be as far above normal as it has been. I think it's going to be much more slightly above normal. I am confident that it will likely end the month with above normal temperatures overall, but I really, really feel like it's going to be a lot more slight than it has been. So it's going to be a massive change, and quite frankly, even though it will end up likely being above normal temperatures, quote-unquote, I think it's not going to feel that way for a lot of you. It will likely feel like a cool down or below normal temperatures, given how far above normal it has been. For instance, back in June, there was very frequently, you know, 20 to 30 degree above normal temperatures or more around here. I'm expecting ending the month more around like five, maybe 10 maximum. So this is a massive difference from what you guys have been experiencing over the last two months. And I do foresee an end to that. Uh, now, the furthest above normal temperatures will likely be in Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota, in my opinion, that very eastern region with the darker oranges. So that's where I expect the heart of the heat wave to be located this upcoming month. Now, we do expect some below normal temperatures for some of the south central United States and southeastern United States, uh, and that's the first shade. Um, so, for instance, this is kind of lower confidence, but we do expect in general below normal temperatures for the most part. We do have a moderate shade of this blue, by the way, though, for Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, and then even Louisiana. That is where we expect some below normal temperatures to be a little bit more likely for that more south central region of the United States. And this has also been very similar to how we've seen things go in June and July as well. Let's move on to that exciting overall forecast. A lot of you always anticipate this. This is always in the thumbnail as well. So I'm sure a lot of you clicked just for this region. Sorry, reason. I always say region instead of reason because I say region so much throughout my videos every single day. So I literally do that outside of my videos as well. I'll be trying to say a reason and I'll say region instead. Let's just take a look at this overall forecast. Much cooler for the northwestern United States. And that's referring to much cooler than how it has been, by the way. I just couldn't fit that all <laughs> right there in that blue shade without make, you know making it in basically where you can't see it. So much cooler than how it has been. Uh, over the past two months, or the, I guess the entire summer, dry conditions mostly there for the Rockies and some of the surrounding regions. Monsoon is going to be ongoing for Arizona and New Mexico there. Heat dome or heat wave up there for the north central United States. Cooler in general there for the south central. Uh, and then we're watching the tropics, as you can see in that pink region. We're obviously going to be watching the tropics as August is basically... It's, it's one of the top two hurricane months, if not the top three. It, I mean, I think August is usually more active than October, but it's at least a top three month, September being the most active. I would say August is a second most active and October is the third. Uh, but we're definitely going to be watching the tropics as it is anticipated that there will be tropical activity throughout the month of August unless it's extremely below normal as far as activity, which that is how things have kind of been. So that wouldn't be an entire surprise, but we're going to overall be watching the tropics just in case. Very stormy here in this green region, above average precipitation like we showed before. Equal chances is what that EC stands for in that yellow region. We don't really see anything in either direction as far as precipitation or temperatures are concerned. And then we expect hot, we, hot temperatures in general there for the northeastern United States. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this forecast. Let's get into the confidence tab where we're at a four out of six. That's about as high as I'll go for a monthly forecast. For today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, do you think this nor'easter that could potentially happen is a sign of more nor'easters to come throughout the fall and winter? And Ethan Galeski said, I think this is a sign that we may have above average nor'easters this fall and winter, hopefully, with more snow. And I think there's probably many of you that feel that way, at least 17 people, because there we go, we see 17 likes. So a lot of people agree with you there. Good comment of the day. For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Lerla LePan, and Donna Carnes, alongside our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Falego, Gary, John Colisi, Dwight Phelan, and Stephen Cronenthal. If you would like to be a part of this patron end screen today, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Hairforms1 and Catbite as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button and leave a comment down below because those two things help me out so much. And be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.